Let's get on with the details now. We have an update for you on the death of three siblings following the use of a pesticide by their parent. As you know already, the family of five was hospitalized, but unfortunately, the two-year-old and the nine-month-old twins died. Traumatized mother and father have fully recovered and are out of any danger. The FDA has issued a statement confirming the insecticide may be directly responsible for the deaths. And then the statement explains the active ingredient in the said insecticide can be highly toxic if it comes into contact with moisture. Details of that statement for you shortly. But let's first take you to the home of the deceased. Komla Adam was there for us. <laughs> So this is where a 36-year-old Manira to Ibrahim, uh, who has since lost her three children, lives. And uh, we are told that the room where the insecticide was used until the demise of her two-year-old boy and twin nine-month-old girls has since been locked for police to carry out some investigation. So if you could see from your pictures, the, 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 the rooms are locked. So these two rooms, we are told, uh, are where Munira to Ibrahim and her husband and three children were occupying at the time of the incident. So she narrates to us that in the wee hours of Tuesday, the, a chemical they bought from the market was used to fumigate these two rooms. And shortly after they occupied the two rooms, she told us that her husband began reacting, vomiting, and passing watery stool in the middle of the night. And he was uh, rushed to the hospital. Members, well wishes have been visiting mother of the three children. Uh, they've been sympathizing and commiserating with her and the family following the unfortunate. Sincere apologies uh, for that uh, technical hitch with those videos there. But let's read to you a release that was uh, just brought in by the Food and Drugs Authority, um, who, which has been, of course, looking into this matter. Uh, the the release says that the attention of the Food and Drugs Authority, FDA, has been drawn to the death of three children after using fumigation tablets intended for the control of insects in stored grain, uh, processed food and feed. The FDA immediately dispatched officials. The FDA immediately dispatched officials as part of its safety monitoring activities to the 37 military hospital to ascertain the cause of death. Preliminary checks by the FDA have revealed that the family used the said pesticide, which is top toxin, which has aluminium phosphide as its active ingredient. Aluminium phosphide is used as a fumigant to protect stored grains from insects and rodents, which makes the product an agrochemical and not a household one. In the presence of moisture, aluminium phosphide releases phosphine, which is highly toxic. Although the product is a pesticide, and which does not fall under the regulation of the FDA. And at that point, they embolden it, so you're sure that the FDA uh, well, has done its job because they're saying that it's not under their regulation. But the FDA says it is liaising with the Environmental Protection Agency and the Agricultural Ministry to investigate the source and distribution uh, channels for the product. Meanwhile, the FDA wishes to advise the general public to carefully read the labels of all products and I beg your pardon, follow the directions for use before uh, consuming any of our, our regulated products to avoid injuries and allergies, which may lead to death. The general public is also being entreated to inform the FDA of any regulated products found uh, on the market which does not comply to the standards on the following numbers and social media platforms. So those numbers are there, 08001000, uh, uh, that's 0800151000 and it's toll free on Vodafone and Antigua only. 
And you can also call them on 0299-802932 or 0299-802933. And they got an SMS short code with which you can let them know if you're, sus you're suspicious of any product uh, and, and you think it's not regulated. The short code is 4015. And that's an SMS short code. You can also WhatsApp them on 0206973065. And you can reach them, by the way, on Facebook. It's Food and Drugs dash Ghana. And on Twitter, it's GH underscore FDA. It was signed by James Latte, who is head of communication and public education department for the chief executive officer. Uh, Mr. Latte, by the way, joins us on the line. Since we know from um, the press release that they're liaising uh, with the Agri Ministry and, of course, uh, the um, Environmental Protection Agency, and that they've taken samples, or samples have been brought them from the 37 military hospital. We may as well find out what they've found so far. Mr. Latte, over to you, and thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much. What have you found there? Well, uh, nothing much has come up. But uh, you know what is happening is that uh, when it comes to agrochemical, uh, it does fall under the EPA. And uh, if you look at the way the whole uh, incident went, you realize that the product was being actually used as a household chemical, though they are not household chemical, they are agro products. So what FDA is doing now is uh, liaising uh, with the EPA. This morning, two of our officers were there to have a meeting with them. We've not concluded on issues. Okay. And they went further to the Bishop of Madrid. And what we want to establish... Mr. Mr. Latte, can you hear me? It seems I've lost uh, Mr. Latte there. James Latte speaks for the FDA. We'll try and raise him back on the line. In the meantime, what he's telling us is that the FDA has not had any conclusive information uh, from, the, um, from studying samples of the uh, pesticide that was sent to them. But they're saying that their preliminary checks have revealed that it, is a, 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 it contains aluminium, aluminium phosphide, which is... Uh, 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 very dangerous when it gets in touch with moisture. Mr. Latte, did I, did, did I, since I lost you, do I have you back on the line? Okay, we don't have him, but as and when we have him, we'll go on with some more details. We'd like to know what the FDA has found um, with its preliminary uh, checks on this particular pesticide in question and what's going to happen uh, moving forward from there.